Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. in this amazing Jamaica weather this morning doing some cardio so that I don't get damaged too much which I already am that food we had last night was insane good but ate way too much of it so we're doing sprints on the beach today because it's so it's too beautiful to go indoors and do cardio it is hot though it is what maybe 78 8, 80 degrees mm -hmm. but what we're doing is sprints so hit I'm running down there and then back as fast as I can Shelby already timed it, it was around 17 seconds. So, I'm trying to go for around 10 of these, 10 to 12. I just let my heart rate go back down, and then I run, come back, and then rest for around maybe a minute and a half. It's gonna look so slow. <laughs> I might have to speed this up. way harder to run in sand. Oh, oh there, there's the first thing of scratching your sunglasses. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. Uh, your $300 pair of sunglasses. No Just knocked it straight off the table. There's no scratch. Today we're enjoying breakfast by the beach. It's amazing. You can't really get better than that. Having an egg white omelet with a steak. And so we got some kind of like egg, egg benedict. Yeah, but pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Now we are out here enjoying the weather out at the beach. I'm laying down. Yeah, it looks weird. The wind's gonna get in this camera, so that's why I am like blocking the wind here. But we're in a bed. The reason why we're in a bed and not laying out is because yesterday we got too much sun and we're both like burned. So we have to lay out of the sun for a little while. We've been putting sunscreen on and stuff, but we don't apply it enough. We only apply it like once or twice max. And you're supposed to apply it like once every like hour. And so we do not do that. So that's why we're red. And we were supposed to get massages today, uh, but we we're a little bit too burned. And so we are gonna we rescheduled the massages for tomorrow because in the massage you have like a coffee rub and you're we saying it would kill us to do a coffee rub uh, before the massage actually starts. So we were like, okay, let's reschedule that. And so that is tomorrow. You cannot get a better view than this. It is insane. Today's the prettiest day that we've had so far. The water is insane blue. All right guys, so pretty much hung out at the beach all day long. It is now six o'clock. Look at this view, I'm telling you, you cannot get better than that. Absolutely beautiful. The weather today was awesome. It didn't rain one time and sunny. It was just a beautiful day. Let me give you an update on the room. So as I told y'all, uh, at first, when we first got here, Shelby's in their blow dryer here, you won't be able to hear me. So when we first got here, they overbooked the room. And so we could not stay in the room that we actually paid for until uh, yesterday. So we got here yesterday, uh, we moved in, and everything seemed fine until we got back last night after eating, and the room was really hot. And so we found out that the air conditioner is not working in this room. So we called them last night, they said, okay, uh, you know, we're gonna send a maintenance worker first thing in the morning. So I was like, Okay, because it was about 75 degrees in there, which is, you know, not terribly hot. We were able to sleep, but not great, because I like to sleep with it like 69 degrees, so really cold. And um, anyway, so they showed up, they waited all day long, and now they're finally working on it, 6 o'clock. So we're not sure what we're going to do. So it's been a lot of trouble with this room to get the room that we actually paid for, and then when we get it, the air conditioner's messed up. So 
Now, I just got back from the gym just like five minutes ago, and that's when I found out about they're working on the air conditioner, so we're gonna see what to do. And if they can't fix it in like 30 minutes, I'm gonna say, hey, move us to another room with the air conditioner. Uh, so, like I said, just got back from the gym. Uh, we're gonna change clothes, get ready for tonight because we're gonna go out to eat. But first, we're gonna take some pictures because it's perfect weather, the sun is going down, so I think it would look amazing. And tonight we're gonna eat sushi. Sushi, can't even say it right now. So uh, last night we had the steak place, tonight we're gonna have the sushi, and then tomorrow we have the Italian restaurant because there is like four restaurants here. There is, or five. There's a buffet, there's another restaurant that you go to for like lunch and dinner, and then they have a sushi place, Italian, and a steakhouse. So we have like two more places we haven't been to, and we're gonna hit out the sushi place tonight and then the Italian tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last full day, and then we leave out uh, Wednesday early morning, or I say early, right around like nine o'clock. The skill level to this is amazing. This is what I've been doing every single day, probably around three times a day, is trying to figure out how to get these aminos in this bottle. So uh, the only supplements I brought on this trip was the amino build, uh, and then I brought a protein cookie. I had packed uh, protein bars, or we thought we did, and we left them in the backpack, or another backpack at the house. So never brought those and so the only supplements I br brought was aminos and so I've been having to like slowly dump this thing in there and I promise you that the Jamaican people that come here and clean the room find this packet and see and s they see all that powder on there it's like okay these people are on all kinds of drugs <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do so I take this stuff after my workout and before my workout uh, because I don't have protein powder or anything like that. So just getting my aminos and BCAs, um, you know, intro or before the workout and after. So now I'm going to get ready and it's hot in here. It is 80 degrees in this room right now. And so it's like you go outside, it's not any cooler inside. It's pathetic. So you go in from sweating, working out to a hot, hot room. And then now I got to cool down somehow to rinse off and then put like a nice shirt on. It's just, this is the pain, guys. Just can't breathe. No end, no end. A pain. We've been we've been having to deal with it just because it's nothing. I mean, nothing we can do about it. But I mean, the place is really nice. The people are awesome. But so far, the experience here has not been all that great. So, uh, as we were eating lunch today, or actually, we got a snack from the bar area. I was standing up to give the guy the plate and I did not see the step because I had sunglasses on and we're underneath some shade. So I did not see that there was a step up. So I slammed my toe and apparently it might be broken. So, oh well. <laughs> so going on vacation, got a broken toe and my foot, a lot of y'all don't know, but a, man, it's been maybe what, eight years ago, something like that. I was uh, playing football and basketball, I think it was originally basketball, but I slipped and fell on my side of my foot and I broke actually a bone in my foot. Never uh, went to the doctor to get it fixed, so over the years it just like if I get on sand and like really did a lot of pressure where it's a lot of stabilizing, it starts to hurt and right now my foot is killing me on the right side and then today I might have broken my left toe or my left foot toe or a toe on your a left. A toe on my left <laughs> foot. And so after we get back from vacation, I'm gonna have to kill myself in cardio. This is not gonna be fun. Both feet are like ruined. So this is gonna be a lot of fun doing prep. Alright, so now we're out here getting photos because this weather and the sun is perfect. The sun is going down, and so you got this like shadow effect and it looks incredible. And then it is dinner time. So we're done taking the photos uh, and we went back to the office to figure out what we're gonna do with the air conditioner and we came back here and it seems to be working a little bit so we're gonna go eat and then see if it you know completely works or not right now it says it's like uh, 76 degrees in here so it's not 80 so that's good so we're gonna wait until after we go eat some sushi and then come back to see what we're gonna do next spring rolls and she got soup 
And now we have the sushi. This, I'm not sure what it is. Miso souffle is what it's called. And then we have California roll and Shelby got Philadelphia roll. So that is octopus. And what did you get? You don't even know, do you? I forgot. Yeah, she has no idea. It's another kind of ceviche. So now we have the main dish. We have steak and fried rice. And this is like our fifth Diet Coke. <laughs> now on to dessert, we have ice cream and another Diet Coke. So we're done eating. We watched a little bit of grease. That was probably the worst grease thing we've ever seen in our life. Oh my gosh, it just went black. Lost all power. <laughs> no, but so we sat down and watched it for like five minutes and now we're headed back to the house. I'm limping big time from this foot. Man, this is terrible. All the way back. Oh. oh, there we go again. Oh. This has happened this like, like the, the fourth or sixth time today. Yeah, fourth or fifth time. It just cuts off. Oh. Hello. So we got power, so. Yeah, it was uh the food was really good. It was excellent food. Now we're just gonna head back to the room so I can actually sit down a little bit. It just hurts a lot. When I when I stop for a while and sit down and then uh get up and start walking again, it really hurts. So it's like but when I if I start walking for a while, I guess it I guess it like loosens up or something and I can walk without like it killing me, but it takes a little while to get to that point. But one thing is good, uh, they said the air conditioner is fixed so we don't have to move to another room. So they fixed the air and so we should walk into like a 68 degree room or that's what we're hoping. Show you the place at night. So that is the pool bar right there. You can just swim up and get your drinks. The pool and our room is right over here. So basically connected to the pool and then the back side of our room that you already saw is connected to the beach. <laughs> the moment of truth because the last time we saw my toe was bad and it just happened like a few hours and it just started to get purple. So now it's been a few hours so we're going to see what it looks like now. Oh! Oh gosh! That is a <laughs> nasty toe, Abel. Oh! <laughs> My gosh. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, God. We have to go get ice. Good morning, everyone. It is another beautiful day here in Jamaica. This is our last full day of being in Jamaica, and it is a beautiful one. So, I just got done doing like 40 minutes of steady state cardio because I'm not able to do HIT. Uh, which would normally take me about around like, I don't know, 30 minutes total. But I did steady state because my toe is killing me, so I couldn't do that. Uh, now just around 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, today we have plans uh, to go get a massage at 3 o'clock. So we got uh, two couple massages, which is going to be awesome, I hope. Uh, the only problem is we're a little sunburned and stuff. So we have like a coffee rub. And then, of course, the massage is like a deep tissue and stuff. So... We're wondering if we're gonna be sitting there in pain the whole time, hoping not. And then after the massage around six o'clock, we go to uh, a lagoon or something. It's like it glows at night and stuff, like the water actually glows, you get in there and it like glows around you, which is pretty neat. So we're gonna go there around six o'clock. Uh, right now we're gonna go head out to get some breakfast and then go to the beach again. I got the steak and egg white omelet and Shelby got the same thing she got yesterday as well. <laughs> Today has been the most laziest day of this whole trip. We've been sitting around at the beach just sleeping. Uh, we ate, I snorkeled a little bit at the beach and ate lunch there and slept. And now we are about to go get our massage. It is now like 2.45. We were supposed to be there at three, so just a little bit. But we have an 80 minute massage. So we slept on the beach and now we're gonna go sleep, getting a massage. Uh, my face is like burned. I'm like red here. so. Yeah, let's go over there and see about this massage. Our last day here, so sad. We've had so much fun. It's been nice and peaceful. And I'm getting fat before I have to like lean down completely in four weeks. Oh gosh, man, it's windy. But yeah, looking forward to the massage. We never had 80 minute massages, so this will be something new. Mm -hmm. 
So we're all robed out. Longer. It's kind of longer. <laughs> mine, mine. Uh, yeah, I was say, mine's uh, shorter than yours for <laughs> sure. Mine's a little mini skirt. <laughs> Feels like I've been napping for like five years. So we just got done with the coffee scrub and the massage. It took like 80 minutes and I look so tired, but it felt amazing. Oh my gosh, it felt so good. So we smell like coffee and then we came and got coffee. We are coffee fanatics. So they use coffee for the scrub and then they used it, had it in oil as well. So we smell just like coffee. Yeah, we smell amazing. We gotta get some of that stuff. So now we're headed out to the Glowing Lagoon. I think that's what it's called, or that's what I'm gonna call it. Well, I'm gonna call Super it the close. Glowing. Yeah, Luma, Lumilus. Luminous. What is it? Luminous. Luminous Lagoon. And so this is the uh, the lagoon that you get in and it glows Are you at night. Lagoon? lagoon, what is it? Lagoon. Lagoon, lagoon. is a bean. Uh, whatever. So you get in and it glows at night. So we're gonna go over there and check this place out. I got my GoPros and uh, hope, I'm hoping that we get some good videos and stuff of this place. And pictures, it looks amazing, but you know, people can color correct anything and make it look amazing, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you will not get to see the, the original, what it really looks like, because I will color correct it, believe me. We're all liars. Yeah, you see this place? Not color corrected, and then I'm gonna color correct it. It looks like the Wizard of Oz. We're waiting on the tour. Sitting here, waiting, waiting, waiting. They're late. She won't go get me more coffee. No problem. All right, so are you all having a good time so far in Jamaica? <laughs> Y'all done any more tours or is this the first one? That's perfect. There's certain environments that that works with. I'm going to be telling you about it in a minute. Alright? Come over here and splash. Come here. What? I don't see that at all with a GoPro. I don't know, but I can see it with this. Gonna join him. Jamaican at heart. Obviously. <laughs> As you can see, my toe doesn't hurt now. <laughs> <laughs> really? We're done with lagoon. 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 Lagoon is a bee. Okay, lagoon tour. It was pretty awesome. I was expecting you to be like swimming out in there and when you jumped in the water you actually sunk like three feet in mud so the whole time you're walking and you're just sinking in mud. The whole thing was mud but it's pretty awesome. We stayed out there for about 20 minutes and basically everyone got in and just you know swam around or actually just walked around in the mud and uh, and then we came back so we were so lucky because the people that were on the bus said that they uh, were in the bus for two hours picking up people at different resorts. We were the last pickup and then the first ones to get off. So we are super lucky because we were like 15 minutes away from that place. So now we're rushing to go change clothes and then we're gonna go eat uh, at the last restaurant that we haven't been to yet and it's Italian. Uh, Shelby's like, I oh, wonder if they're casual. We could just show up in our bathing suits. And I was like, <laughs> no, we're gonna try to get over there quickly but change clothes and then eat some Italian food. And five minutes later, we're back out the door. So she got ready quickly, the fastest she's ever gotten ready. Because Hair and makeup was already done. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do anything besides just seriously change clothes and walk out the door. So now we're headed for Italian for the last night. And for those of you that's never had all-inclusive restaurants, I know I said this a year ago, 
uh, in my other vlogs and stuff that we go all inclusive every year because it is seriously amazing. So all you really have is like a wristband and you have all these different restaurants and uh, all you can eat everywhere and room service 24 hours so you can just call them and be like hey I want a pizza at you know three in the morning and you can get a pizza or all the alcohol you want all the drinks anything you want is all inclusive I mean of course you're paying for it uh, in the long run but we for us worth. yeah for the food we get our money's worth we eat all the time drinks not so much but eating we eat so much food when we go all-inclusive and it's just so nice not to worry about money like you don't walk around with money because you don't pay for anything when you're here you get here and you just go eat at restaurants you, you get whatever you want what you're ordering on the menu yeah when you go sit down you get the most you know whatever you want and you don't have to worry about the price because you're just sitting there and all of it's completely tied into it so it's really nice uh, anyone that has not done it I would look into it because it's really nice. We have spotted giants. I dare you, Shelby, to go run, tackle their legs out oh from under God. them. Just run through them? Just run through them. Oh All right, so the app, no, that's not an appetizer, that just comes. It's technically an appetizer, we just didn't have to order it. Yeah, we have to order it. We got bread and different, like, pasta. Zucchini. I don't know what that is, zucchini and artichokes, artichoke and olives. So this is what we actually order for an appetizer. I got the cheese plate, all different kinds of cheeses. Looks amazing. And she got the meat plate. So it has all different, what, lunch meats? Lunch meats. <laughs> or, what, deli meat? Yeah, carved meat, yeah, carved yeah. Carved meats. I'm not gonna lie, guys. We ordered a lot of food tonight. I ordered a main dish, an entree, and then I ordered a pizza on top of that. Tonight's gonna be like my last night of eating bad, so I'm gonna overdo it. <laughs> We have a show going on behind us. <laughs> yeah, so we're eating right here and the show's going on directly behind us. It's pretty neat. Where the music is anyway. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I have shrimp tortellini. And she got what? I don't know. It was I, it was called something weird, but it's bow tie pasta with um, a lot of stuff. On there. Cool. And then we have the pizza coming. And now onto the pizza. This is a jerk chicken pizza. Looks amazing. Now on for dessert, we have tiramisu, and she got the same thing. <laughs> and a cat. Good morning, everyone. It is now, I think, what, 6, 15-ish, somewhere in there, in the morning. Uh, we got up at 5.30 to come watch the sunrise, and that's what we're doing right now, currently. It is beautiful out here. The sun rises really early. In Texas, the sunrise, or it would be this light outside, around probably like 8 o'clock, but here, uh, the sun actually rises around 5.45, so we have time lapses going everywhere. We have the big camera for like picture time lapse and then the iPhone time lapse because I'm not sure what one's going to be doing a better time lapse. My big camera has an awesome time lapse feature, but I'm not really too uh, professional using it, so uh, it takes photos. Uh, the time lapse in the um, iPhone takes photos as well, but the uh, auto autofocus on the camera sometimes will throw it off because it'll focus on one thing in one shot and then the next you know another thing on another shot shot so we're gonna see what one uh, later looks better and when I start editing it also had the drone up in the air we got like three cameras going at this sunrise so last day this is so sad uh, being out here so we're gonna go inside in a little bit to start this evil packing we do not want to start this packing at all and then we're gonna go get breakfast Shelby's out here in her robe. Anytime we go on vacation, she lives in a robe all the time. White robe out on the beach. <laughs> and she won't look at the camera. She lives in the robes, uh, like in the hotels and stuff. She just loves the robes. So, yeah, that's what's going on this morning. Sad day. So we got done printing off reporting passes. I like doing that and just having paper for them, especially when you go out of the country because no Wi-Fi and stuff. So the like your phones will 
every once in a while like glitch and so you don't have paper and it's just and so much take better. Them over boarding pass in the US. Oh yeah. Well yeah, yeah, last time they wouldn't even take it for her. So uh, now we are going to go find some breakfast, the last meal here, pr pretty much. I mean, we're leaving here around uh, 9 o'clock, so this is going to be the last time we eat, all inclusive. Kind of. We ordered room service to take with us. Yeah, I just cracked. I ordered some like <laughs> grilled chicken breast, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up and then take it with us because it's going to be a long day of traveling. We get back around like 8 o'clock tonight. I got Jamaica breakfast, I think it's called. <laughs> Uh, it has different fish, uh, dumplings I believe, uh, it looks like bananas, and I got some pancakes on the side, coffee, and the view, and Shelby got, it looks like French toast, it but is it's French not, toast. it is French toast, yeah. okay. It was called something else though. It looks amazing. Recording the room for the last time, sad. We're done with breakfast and now about to head out, so I'm just recording it for the sake of having this when we're 40, 50 years old. We can look back. She's gonna say goodbye to the beach one last time. This is terrible. Yep. <laughs> Austin, Texas. We were so close in missing our flight here. Like I was running through the airport, got stuck at security. They were checking Shelby's bag. And so she ran off to kind of see if the airline would wait. And uh, they were like, no, we were not going to wait. So I was sitting back at the uh, customs with the backpack because all her makeup stuff was going through but ended up making it just fine uh, running there. And as I was running, I was recording and a police officer is like chasing me down. I don't know what he was, he didn't say a word to me, but he followed me all the way onto the plane. I have no idea what he was doing. But yeah, now it is time to go see Gaynor. Well, actually we're waiting for a ride because her mom went off to San Antonio and we don't have a ride, so we're actually ordering a ride Austin or Lyft to get home because here in Austin, they don't have uh, Uber. Uber does not, like, I don't know, qualify for their standards because they don't do background checks and stuff. So Texas banned them. So we are right, waiting for that ride. Just walked in the house. Now it's time to see Mr. Gaynor. Have not seen him in just about a week. So we're going to see if he's actually excited to see us or not. I'm going to have to scare him a little. Here we go. Here we go. Did you miss us, Mr. Gator? Did you miss us? Gator! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Hi, buddy! Oh. Did you even... Did you even miss us? Did you miss us? Like, where'd you go? Let me sniff you. Let me sniff you. What? Where? Oh, my gosh. Gator! Gator! Where have these bags been? Gator! Yes! <laughs> Always good to come home to packages. So Muscle Tech sent me this package while I was gone. Gainer's so scared of everything. Let me show you what they sent me. I uh, got the Nitro Tech coffee. I haven't tried that yet. I still need to. Nitro Tech casein gold. So man, that's a big thing of uh, protein casein. So you take that at night. It's a chocolate supreme. I'm guessing this is brand new product. So that's awesome. 71 servings in this thing. Awesome. So you take that at night because it's slow digesting, so it stays in your system for a long time, longer than like a whey, a whey protein. 
uh, French vanilla coffee creamer amino boost that has aminos in it. That is going to be awesome when I start cutting tomorrow. Big time dieting. So that's going to help a lot. Got uh, French vanilla, hazelnut, and caramel. So all three of those creamers. And another thing of the Nitrotech uh, casein gold, creamy vanilla. So thank you Muscle Tech for sending me that. That, that was, I didn't even order it. So just random stuff. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh.